Good morning. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> we we're back in the car. Yeah, <laughs> we have had a heck of a heck of a morning. A heck of a morning, y'all. It started so, out crazy. Was relaxing. <laughs> we started out dead, honestly. Like we we worked yesterday putting those ceilings up, even with the lift and everything. It kicked our oh butt. God. You know, it's <laughs> days like today that you start to realize we're not as young as we used to be like we've always kind of been adventurous and get out there and do things and work our tails off at whatever it is and, and 50 is not so nifty today <laughs> not quite 50 but I'm telling you holy I'm... cow I'm <coughs> like, so it's a pretty rough night you know russ was you know really tossing and turning he was aching so bad and um I stayed up pretty late for editing and working on videos and so this morning when we woke up it was like you know what I was gonna have a slow start we're gonna have a slow start today um, Rusty went and got our coffee we sat in bed Desi came in the room she hung out with us there we were all three just hanging out talking going through the videos we're gonna start out late we know it's gonna be a hot booger when we get out there mm -hmm. but you know what it's okay and it might be hot when we get there but it'll be cooled off after dark there you go is, that's the nice part we're working on our schedule we can work till three or we can work till midnight just depends on how we're feeling yes and what the temperature's like yes and so we're sitting and drinking our coffee and chit chatting and we get a phone call i get a phone call hey ma what are you doing so our youngest son, Cody, had a very important appointment this morning. In Tulsa. In Tulsa at nine. And he said, I'm stranded on the side of the road and I'm not gonna make it. And we said, I said, are you close enough? You can call an Uber, you know, I'll, I'll you know, cash up you some money. You know, you, you have to get there. You gotta be there, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do to get you there. Yes, and he said, no, I'm not close enough. I don't think I can. And I said, well, then you're just gonna have to make the phone call and let them know that you're gonna be late. And we will hurry, hurry, hurry to get to you. But we're an hour from Tulsa, so. <clears throat> Um, we were able to get there, get him picked up, get him to his appointment, and now we're sitting in a quick trip parking lot <laughs> having breakfast of champions. Yes. You guys ever had these Buffalo chicken, chicken sticks? They're really good, but I was like, man, that's a little spicy this morning, oh. and I'm going to follow it up with some flaming hot. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I can't do that first I thing think, in the morning. I think your inner Mexican was hanging out. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's another one of those, you're not as young as you used to be. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're not working on the house right now. We yeah. are, um, Desi is with her, uh, um, I guess tribe. I don't know how to say, say that. It's part of the tribe there. It's a group, an, or, an organization that is part of the tribe that comes and helps teach the tribal ways. Yeah. Culture. Culture. Yes. So, that's a good. Yeah. So they come and they pick up Desi, uh, once or twice a month. They were doing twice a month, but then there was kind of a shift there when she got adopted. They weren't sure if they were still going to be able to come. And um, and then they called and they said they were. So we're so excited about that. Yes. Um, so they came to pick her up this morning. I think they're going to do some basket weaving today. And I know they're going to do nature walks. and they might probably do some swimming or something. Swimming because they said make sure she had you know clothes and shoes she could get wet in so um, maybe she'll spray with the garden hose as she walks by who knows you know that's my culture <laughs> <laughs> you know and the garden hose had the top cut off there was right. never the metal ring it's nope, just, just a, pinch it together yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was our our you know sprinkler <laughs> yeah yeah no that maybe that's just our culture <laughs> but anyway we're really excited for her that she is going to be able to continue that because that is very important to us that she retains yes. her culture and it's important to her and it is important to her she's you know she does you know talk about it we we do want to also uh start to learn her language um she doesn't know very much and so we want to start taking classes maybe when things slow down a little that's bit. right that's our that's our man what what our is mantra. it mantra mantra is 
when things slow down a little. I don't think <laughs> things ever slow down for us. And we've talked about that a lot with her. And she's like, yeah, that'd be cool. She said, you want to learn Cherokee? I said, yeah, I think it'd be really cool. You know, I said, here, look at it this way. If the three of us are in a large crowd of people and you have something that you need to tell us or we want to, hey, look at her shoes. We don't have to say, hey, look at her shoes. We can speak in Cherokee and know, look at her shoes. And that way people aren't looking at us like, why are you looking at her shoes? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that's like. No. Being able to just kind of say something. And <laughs> no, but what's great is uh, my mom, you know, when she's here, she's been here a lot. And Desi is super, super close to my mom. Like Abuelita, she's very, very close to my mom. Yes. And she is learning so much Spanish from my mom. That's not good. If my mom says anything in Spanish, Desi says it right away. And she retains it. And that's what's so crazy. She'll say later, of course, she learns all the bad words first. And we're like, don't say that. That's a bad word. What does it mean? If you don't know what it means, don't say it. But, you know, she, not that my mom cusses. That's not what I'm saying. No. Oh, no, not my mother-in-law. <laughs> so, Never. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so... Anyway, we just kind of wanted to get in here and I mean, we've been taking you guys along for the journey. So yeah, this is part of the journey. This and is part of the journey. When you guys, new subscribers, we always say, you know, welcome to our craziness. Welcome to our craziness. This is our craziness because once we get done here, after Cody's appointment, we'll pick him up and we'll head back out and we'll take a look at the car, see if it's something we can fix on the road or if we're going to have to have it towed to fix it somewhere else. So. Yeah, and so I don't know how much we'll get done at the farm today, but hey, this takes precedence. Yes. And so we're going to take care of this and we'll talk to you guys here in a little bit and let y'all know yep. where we're at, what we're doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, we're back we're at back. Disneyland. I really need to stop calling that. We are back at Robertson's Valley Acres. Whoop, whoop. So everything went ish this morning. So whatever. It's in the past. <laughs> we got Cody where he needed to be. Yes. And we got him home and that's all that matters. The rest of it we'll deal with as it comes. So we are ready. Are we ready? As ready as we're ever going to be. So, we have this room left to do as far as ceilings go, and then we will be done. And we need to get done before 5 p.m. so we can take this thing back and not owe another day. Yeah, so, it's going to be back at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Oh, 10.30. I yes. thought it had to be back tonight. Nope. Oh, that's good. That makes me feel better. Yes. Because I'm thinking it's already late in the afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. I have it no idea. It is. 133. Oh, well, there you go. Still. So, not terrible. Um, not terrible. <laughs> We're going to get started in here. Desi's kind of taking the day off. She's kind of needed uh, a good mental health she day. Needs mental health cool down day. M mental health cool down day. You know, we all need those days. So, so when um, we say cool down, you'll know what we mean in just yes. a minute. She is literally cooling down. Mental health cool down day. Yep. Like, who doesn't like to just sit in the sprinkler and get cooled off and just have a good afternoon. All right. So yes, she's definitely taking herself a good cool down mental health day. I really think I need to go. I need to go join her. What do you think? I'm Come thinking on. that looks like a heck of an idea. <laughs> Come on. It's no. fun. <laughs> Come on. It's fun. It. She has herself a sonic drink, nice and cold and just going to chill out. Thank you. 
feels like it's been forever since we've been out here, even though we were here last night. Yes. <laughs> um, so today, this morning, those steps, whew. Guess what we're doing. So let's go show you what came in first. Let's see what came in. My swimming pool. Woo! So Desi's swimming pool came in. Um, no more having to sit and play in the sprinkler for this girl, right? Yep. Yep. So Rusty got uh, ordered her a 15 foot swimming pool and it is how many inches deep? 42 15. inches. 42 inches deep. I mean, that's going to be pretty deep for me. But I, I, I think I think these guys will do great in it. <laughs> but in order to get that thing set up, there's a whole bunch of stuff that has to happen, and it's not inside the house. It's not even house related. So first of all, what are you doing, Rusty? I am airing up the tires on the Great White. On the Great White. Because Desi, now that she knows how to run it, and she's a master experienced mower lady. Yep. She's a lawn pro. She's a lawn pro. <laughs> she's a lawn pro. <laughs> she's gonna come out and mow that uh, house yard which also means that these yahoos, this one and that one, are being evicted from the house yard, which is a good thing, you guys, because they have had a heyday with all of the stuff where we're cleaning and we're throwing stuff, any kind of trash they can find, you know. They just tear it up, drag it around. They're digging holes in the yard. They've just been living their best life in this yard. Look how trashy it is. So, Desi's going to get this yard mowed. And we're going to get it cleaned up. Look, there's another hole right there. Right off the steps. You know, that's not a hazard. Whew. My ankle hurts just looking at it. But this yard has grown up a whole lot. So, um... Desi's going to get it mowed out here. This is probably where we're going to put the pool. It's uh, pretty uh, flat right there. But in order to get these dogs uh, evicted from this yard, we have to go and fix um, their kennels and the other fences to make sure that they can't get back into this yard. So we're taking a break from inside to go out here in this jungle out here so that we can get these puppies their new yard. They can roam around in that yard. So wish us luck. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go out here into this jungle. Rusty has been um, spraying this, trying to get a lot of the weeds killed out of here, but uh, we need to watch for snakes and stuff. But, um, We'd have Desi come out and mow, but there's big logs and stuff. We've got to get out here and get it cleaned up. Yeah, I went to use the weed eater out here the first time. Yep, so we can see what all's out here. <clears throat> but you know what? You know, small, small. Oh, look, you got that vinca real good. Mm -hmm. Small bites at a time. We don't really have time to work in the yard yet. That's right. But we do need to get these dogs, their kennels secured, because we do want to get Mayday out here soon and get him acclimated and meeting everybody. And we need to keep those dogs out of that yard up there. So, I mean, we're gonna let them run this yard back here and then put them in their kennels at night so that they're good and safe. See. Okay. That's where they go out at. Okay, so it's looking like, what? Chain link is just really loose. Yeah, it just needs to be resecured to the bottom bar. We have sprayed down with um, some uh, deep woods. Deep woods. To try to deter the ticks. You know, after Desi took care of the ticks in the front yard, it has like it's been awesome. Like the that granule stuff worked really well. Seems like, and Desi got a good cover because we have not been picking ticks off as often. So anyway. Stop, stop her talking. Oh. Let's, let's get our butts in gear.
gloss. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Okay, so we've got the bottom of these fences all fixed. This gate is a temporary fix until we can get moved out here and have time to actually come out and fix it because it needs new chain link on the gate. Uh, a couple different spots. We need to get some clamps to hold these panels in place. I mean, it, at one time, this was a heck of a setup, you guys, because they put sand in the bottom. It was a really awesome deal. Well, and then it's got this huge frame around it that was a lean-to originally. I mean, the poles here, you can see where they've welded in to, I mean, it, it was a really nice lean-to at some point, but um, it, it can be again. Yes. We just have to... Cut the tree off the top and yeah. figure out a way to get in there and straighten some of these poles out and get a roof put on it again. Yep. So... But right now, temporary fix so we can keep temporary. the dogs out of the main yard so that Desi can enjoy her pool. That's the main thing. Now we're going to kind of walk around the fence line, try not to, you know. Kill herself. Yeah, with all the junk. And make sure that they can't get out of this fence because we do want them to be able to run around. And not just keep them in the kennel. So... Uh, we're going to walk around and see what we find, guys. Can't get out through this lean-to because it's got a closed-in pin. Here, what? Maybe I thought you were behind me. Yep, I'm recording. And then over here... Yeah, got a hole there. Oh, yeah, a big enough hole for them to go in. Over here at the end of the gate. So what it's looking like is they're probably going to have to be kenneled um, unless we're outside with them. And uh, The main thing is, is we just don't want them tearing up the pool. Uh, for Desi, because you guys... That child would be devastated if these dogs got a hold of her pool and ruined it. Yeah, and she has, you guys have seen it, and you guys have just seen the glimpses of it, but this child has worked her tail off on this house, um, never complains, always eager to jump in. Right now, she's the one, please let me mow. Please so, let me mow, please let me mow. All right, you got to go mow the yard. Pick, and Rachel told her, pick up the garden hose, you know, you know how to mow. Just like your push mowing, she said, okay, and she'll mow for a while, you guys. She sees a stick, she shuts the mower off, gets off, moves the sticks, she's picking up good. She's such a good kid, you guys, and she, uh, you know, she deserves a summer. She deserves yes. a summer vacation, and I feel so bad because we've just been we've go, go, go. taking it. <laughs> yeah, so I am so glad that her pool came in, and she's going to be able to enjoy it, and um, we just, we want to make sure, and we're not... You know, the dogs are still going to be able to get in the yard and play, but when we're not outside... Oh, God. Oh, you moved that in our... Right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, so we got them kenneled. Uh, and like Rusty just said, this is a good test while we're here to see if they're going to be able to get out at night. Um, so... <laughs> they're eating some food. We're going to go get them some water real quick. When Mayday gets out here, we'll have to wire those buckets to the fence because yes. he will knock them over. And they do have shelter. So these buckets have been turned into little um, dog oh. houses. And this one's big enough for Caney and then that one's big enough for Tyke. And um, so they do have shelter outside, out of the rain. Oh gosh, something just came. Something just came in the mail. And it came on a big brown truck. They said, what can brown do for you? Look, 
came on a big brown truck. Who's it? Who's it addressed this to? Is addressed to Desi Robertson. Desi Robertson. What is it? We have no I idea. Don't know. It's from Amazon. <laughs> Yes, y'all do. No, we no. don't. Y'all really don't? No. You're scared now. I don't know. I guess no. We don't know. Look, there might be a note in there. See if there's a note. No, nope, no, no. I don't think so. A gift for you. What else does it say? Enjoy, enjoy your gift. Saw these and thought of you. Love you, Annie Ann. Oh, it's from Aww. Annie Ann. <laughs> Aww. Desi's got her own mail call. She's got ooh, a fan club over here. What's going on? What do What do you got? What do I got? Oh, oh, beautiful. Look at the. What's the What's it say? Just a girl. Horses. Horses. It's oh. in cursives. So. Oh, <laughs> Let me see. Just a girl who loves horses. I can't read cursive. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I wonder what this thing is. It's 50 bucks and it's for me. Is it? <laughs> Aww. It's a heart and it has a letter on it. It's like for Desi. Oh, it's got a D on it. Oh, it has yeah. a D for Desi. <gasps> look at that heart. The heart. Oh, look at the heart. Look what's inside the heart. A horse. Oh, um, a girl kissing the horse. Aww. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, Annie Ann. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, you guys. You saw on that. All right, all right, all right. We're prepping this wall so that we can go ahead and get it um, sheetrocked. This is in Desi's room. We're going to close off that doorway to the uh, pantry. And we're going to get this whole um, wall sheetrocked. Sheetrocked today, and we got to go around the window. And then we'll be ready for paint, or ready for mud. Yeah, mud and tape in. But we're going to get, we're just going to start hanging up sheetrock. We've got this wall around the window and in the closet and then after that we'll probably move to the vet bathroom probably yeah. so let's get to it let us know that she is done mowing and she's got this tarp out here so we're gonna go ahead and take a break from the um, drywall <laughs> I did so then that way we can get started on we setting up pool. Yay! <laughs> so here we go all right so change of plans the uh, uh, we forgot that the guy has to come and get this roll off before we can put the um, pool up because he has to drive through that gate, come in, come this way, all the way, and then come back to be able to get it. He, Rusty called him. He's on his way from Mojo Hauling. He's going to go ahead and pick that up today. So we're putting that off for a couple of hours until he can get here and get it. Um, so Desi wants to rake... <laughs> The yard so then that way she can get ready she's being very very proactive she's ready for her pool but the problem is is we do not have a rake out here it's at the house so um dad is fabricating her a little rake she found a rake head out here so let's go in and see what they're doing getting that rake fabricated for her What are y'all doing? We're making 
rake. You're making a rake? <laughs> We're going to build this an aluminum pipe rake handle. All right. Sometimes it pays to have a redneck dad, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> I was going to make it with wood, y'all, but I didn't. She was going to work. Yeah, she was going to use a tree limb. tree limb, but like it was a good idea, but this will work out better. It's, it's an adjustable rake handle. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, just going to drive it in there a little bit. Bang, bang, bang. Yep, that's bang. I think you're going to have to cut it more, huh? Yep, I got to pass the screw hole. Did it? All yep. right. So, let's go right You know. Just tell her to be careful on that end. Got to be easy with it and be careful down here. It's got a screw stick under it. Okay. So go ahead and try it. You got to be easy with it. You can't get all crazy. Oh, crazy. There you go. This is my new rake now. That's Yay, right. Yay, you got Customized a new rake. Just for you. <laughs> Y'all want one of these? These are my merch. <laughs> Hold on. How are you going to sell merch of stuff that I made? Well, I'm going to run out of wood. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do. They came and picked up. <laughs> came, you swimming? Yeah. Picked up the dumpster. We're done with it. So now it's finally time to come and set up this pool for this child of ours. So we're super excited. We're going to go grab all the stuff. Rusty's got to grab the um, uh, air compressor and we got to go grab the pool and then Desi came out and raked and the yard looks really good. She mowed. So we're prepared. So let's get this ball rolling. So Desi has been working her tail off out here. What did you do, Desi? I put the ladder together. Look at this. Pool. Desi put the ladder together all by herself, read instructions, put it completely together. She's already gotten on it, tested it out. It's awesome. They've already got the pool covered up for tomorrow, for the night. Um, so uh, I don't know, Rusty's sitting over here 
we're we're tired okay guys so let's go in and see what we've been doing in the house guys, so i did not record a lot of today i had a whole lot of footage already and um we were just trying to get stuff done so i'll just kind of take you through what we got done um you know as of now so so desi's room oh mouse mouse ugly mouse oh yep so we have a mouse we're gonna have to put some steel wool in there. I am glad I saw that. Okay, so Desi's room, uh, we're going to, I mean, we got that doorway there that goes into the pantry. We got it closed in. We got all the drywall in. We got her uh, closet completely drywalled in. So her room is done. So in our room, it is a lot of patchwork. And there's a reason, <laughs> a couple of reasons. There's several reasons why. Unfortunately, and this whole wall, there's maybe three studs that run the full length. We've got so many different studs running different directions. There's two or three spots that they're running horizontal. Then you've got several just really screwed around on this wall. So it's kind of like the wall in the bathroom. If you guys watched the video yes. where mom was, uh, where mama was um, putting the insulation insulation where it's just a whole lot yeah so it it had to be just patched in um but and the other reason using up the pieces that we have so it's going to be just more mudden and taping on our end but it's fine yeah it'll it'll all come out looking good in the end yeah and then we got the um closet done in. So all we have left in our bedroom is this wall, the wall that separates the living room from our room. And there's a little spot here, you know, we're leaving this as the accent wall. Um, if you guys haven't weighed in on what color grout or um, caulking to use, go to our community post and vote. But um, this wall right here, we're gonna close that in. And then we do have, I mean, sheet rocket. And then we do have this Small this wall. small wall and then we have to relocate our front door and we will be closing this in so we can put our bedroom door here yes and then our future master bathroom will get sheetrock but we're waiting on the floor to get done hey guys i know we didn't record all of this today but i already have so much footage and we'll get back at it recording correctly yes. tomorrow <laughs> and um tomorrow we do have on y'all's next video that you guys see we do have people coming out to help and yes. you guys get to see who it is on the next video we're Absolutely. So, so excited um we had some good friends that reached out <laughs> and uh, asked us if we needed help so uh desi has the hiccups can somebody scare her? yeah <laughs> not literally you said scare me <laughs> it, didn't it didn't work, work. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. I know there's lots going on. And <laughs> <laughs> we love hearing about hearing from you guys, all your thoughts and ideas. But most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya. Peace.